Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go through four different methods of removing duplicates in Microsoft Excel, as well as explaining when to use each method over the other. Removing duplicates is a common task that Excel users come across over the time using it, so it's going to be important that you watch until the end of the video so that you understand each method and when to use it. And with all that said, let's get into the video. The first method of removing duplicates is by using the built-in remove duplicates command. You should use this when you need to quickly remove duplicates and you do not anticipate needing the original dataset in the future. To remove duplicates this way, we just need to have at least one cell selected in our dataset, then we can go up to the data tab and then select the remove duplicates command right here. This will bring up a dialog box where we're prompted to select the columns that we want to delete duplicate values in. Looking at our data, we want to delete duplicate rows, meaning that we're going to be looking at duplicates in the invoice ID, company name, and product columns. With that said, we'll leave all three columns selected, which essentially means that there must be duplicate values in all three columns to be removed from the dataset. So going ahead and clicking OK, we can see that eight duplicate values were found and removed, and 20 unique values remain. The second method of removing duplicates is by using the advanced filter command. You should use this when you want to quickly remove duplicates and you do anticipate needing the original dataset in the future. With at least one cell selected in our dataset, we can go up to the data tab and then select the advanced filter command. This will bring up the dialog box for us. And from here, we can see that it's defaulted to the filter the list in place option, but we can select this option here to copy to another location. We see here in the list range field that our data has already been selected. So we can move on to establishing where we want to copy our data to. So here, I'm just gonna select this cell. And the final thing we wanna do is to make sure that this checkbox here for unique records only is checked off. So let's click okay. And now we only show unique values and we've removed all the duplicates. The third method of removing duplicates is by using the unique function. You should use this when you want to remove duplicates from a dataset and show unique values only, and you anticipate the original dataset changing in size in the future. So in this cell here, let's enter in the unique function. There are a couple of arguments shown to us here, but only one of them is mandatory with the other two being optional. So let's go ahead and select our table data for the array argument, so doing it like this, and then let's press the enter key. We can see that only unique rows are shown, removing any and all duplicates. And if we want to keep our column headers, we can simply copy and paste the headers from our original data set. Now what's cool about using the unique function is that because it's a dynamic array function, the resulting data set grows and shrinks as the original data set changes in size. For example, if I scroll down here and I add a new row to our original data set, nothing happens to our resulting array. But when I change the invoice ID to say something like 2021, we can see that our resulting array has grown and that's because our new row is no longer a duplicate. The fourth method of removing duplicates is by using Power Query. You should use this when you are importing data into Excel and need to remove duplicates as part of the data transformation process. Here, I have a fresh new Excel file and I wanna use Power Query to import my invoice data into it. So from here, I'm gonna to go to the data tab and then click on get data, then select from file, then select from workbook. This will bring up the file explorer and here we can see the invoice file that we wanna import. So let's double click it. This will bring up a dialog box where we can select what information we want to import. There's our table right there. So we can click it and we'll get a bit of a preview of the data shown here on the right. Because removing duplicates is a form of data transformation, Let's go ahead and select the transform data option down here. This will bring up the Power Query editor for us to work in. Now, if we want to remove duplicates, we can click this icon here at the top left and then just select remove duplicates down here. Now there's a bit of a nuance here when it comes to using Power Query to remove duplicates. Taking a look at these top two rows, they look the same, but they're using different cases. This one here has a capital B and this one here has a lowercase b. What this means is that remove duplicates in Power Query is case sensitive. So if we truly want to treat this as a duplicate, we can go back to one of our previous steps. So we'll select the navigation step here, and we're going to make everything in this company name column the same case. So I can just right click it, go to transform, and then go to capitalize each word. 
that will insert a step for us. And now if we go to the last step, that duplicate row is now gone. Now that we've removed all the duplicates, we can go and click this icon here to close and load it and load the information into our spreadsheet. So to recap, there are four methods of removing duplicates in Excel. The first method is by using the built-in remove duplicates command, and you should use this when you need to quickly remove duplicates and do not anticipate needing the original data set in the future. The second method is by using the advanced filter command. You should use this when you want to quickly remove duplicates and you do anticipate needing the original data set in the future. The third method is by using the unique function and you should use this when you want to remove duplicates from a data set and show unique values and you anticipate the original data set changing in size in the future. And the fourth method is by using Power Query. And you should use this when you are importing data into Excel and need to remove duplicates as part of the data transformation process. And those are four different methods to remove duplicates in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.